Dear parents, I hope you're well. It's the end of our second week, and I thought I would resume my lockdown Friday updates to the school community. So where do I start? First of all, remote learning. I've been extremely impressed with the ability of the staff in building on the excellent provision shown in the March lockdown. Although we're only in the second week of our delivery, we need to acknowledge the quality and range of delivery already provided for the key worker students within school and for the rest of the student cohort. The initial week planning included live lessons for the year 11 cohort and in this week this has been included to include live lessons for all year groups. To ensure that we cater for all learning styles, the staff are planning for a blended approach to live and set worst tasks, which are supported by follow-up quality assurance programmes. The importance of attempting to replicate normal face-to-face -face lessons within a remote learning environment is essential to provide some structure and routine to a difficult experience for our students and to ensure both an exemplar learning experience as well as supporting their well-being. I've been proud of how teachers supported by our associate staff have embraced the remote learning delivery and have wanted to ensure the best possible and effective learning experience for their students. My staff have appreciated the number of already positive parental responsibilities they have received in the last two weeks. Thanking them for their efforts and the learning that has been provided. As you would expect, remote teaching and learning is under constant review and subject to ongoing refinement. We as a school community want to enhance the experience even further. Subsequently, we have rec begun to request feedback from teachers, students, you as parents on the quality of our offer and also asking them their thoughts on how we can improve even further. Can you please share your positive experience of remote learning thus far so I can pass on to the staff? In addition, the staff group will opt in and experience for ourselves the learning provision, as well as ensuring that all students fully access the lessons and exhibit exemplary learning attitudes to their studies. So the key points, accessing remote education. Your child's school timetable states that they should log into Microsoft Teams each morning at 8.40. Joining each session, following their timetable and ensuring that they are engaging in their work. Students will be directed from Microsoft Teams to any other resources that they need, including Seneca, MyMaths and others. Your child will be given an attendance mark for each lesson. Your child's work submission will be checked. The student will be taught with a range of blended learning, so live teaching and online lessons, recorded teaching, YouTube videos, etc. PowerPoints for students to follow, worksheets for students to complete, and obviously also commercially available websites supporting the teaching of specific subject areas, including video clips or sequences. Students are not expected to have cameras on, but we encourage the use of microphones where possible, although we acknowledge this isn't always feasible. Students should answer questions using their microphone or by typing in the Teams chat. Students should upload work as requested by the teacher. This should ideally be in the form of a Word document, but at times photos of work should also suit. Communication with teachers should be done through Microsoft Teams. How will we assess your child's work and progress? Well, assessment of the work completed during a period of remote learning will be set to grade students' progress. Students can expect feedback on their work in accordance to the school feedback policy. This will be given on Microsoft Teams for key pieces of work which is submitted. Our expectations of behaviour in this remote learning. Please be aware that we expect the very high standards of behaviour in all lessons and we are also able to identify and share any misdemeanours with you and ask for your support at the school when we apply any appropriate sanction. Mr Roper, our curriculum deputy head, has already sent you via school comms a letter explaining 
all that your child needs to know to access remote learning. Any issues, please email to remote learning support at henleyschool.com. That will also be on the website. The school has decided to launch an ambitious Pride Learning Award to recognise exemplar attitudes to learning from our students. Obviously, the students are not in school, but we are still aiming to celebrate and recognise students that show excellent character towards their remote learning by their attendance, application and contributions towards their lessons. We value and want to recognise the very best behaviours and we would therefore like you as parents to encourage your child to aspire to achieve this award. Being able to show resilience, determination and application are important skills. And this situation we find ourselves in offers numerous opportunities for your, for your child to excel and develop in these areas. The COVID testing centre. With the assistance of the AMAT, the test centre is now fully operational and I must say how professional, well organised and calm it is. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the tremendous efforts, expertise and attention to detail exhibited by Ms Thompson and the rest of the staffing team. We have both utilised our existing staff and new recruits from the community, selecting a shortlist from over 70 volunteers to operate the facility. We've already tested our teachers and aim to test weekly from now. Similarly, this week we've been testing our key worker students. I've included a short video of the testing area to enlighten you on the high level of the facilities that you have been provided by the Multi Academy Trust. Throughout the, the first national lockdown, the school emphasised the need for teamwork and kindness. And parents did not disappoint. In fact, far from it. Thank you once again for this. Now that we're in a similar situation, I make the same request again. Furthermore, if possible, in these extremely challenging times, identify the positives. For example, on-site testing and vaccinations, whilst also limiting family intake of news, protecting our children from harm or fake news and acting COVID responsibly at all times. Every member of our community has a very important role to play in this regard. Please be reassured that in the light of the new strain of the virus and the higher levels of transmission, the Multi-Academy Trust is currently reviewing all of their COVID-19 risk assessments and they have now been placed on the school website. Regarding GCSE exams in the summer, we now know that these will not take place in the way that we'd hoped for. The government has stated that it would trust teachers to recommend appropriate grades. And while some kind of moderation will be in place, it won't be in the form of an algorithm this time. As soon as we have confirmation of the evidence base for recommending grades, we will let you know. The important aspect here that students who continue to concentrate on their studies and continually work to the best of their ability will gain success. We will update you as soon as we have further information. Dare I say, there does at last seem more hope towards greater normality moving forward into a new year, particularly with the vaccine rollout and the initial extensive coverage of those people who have received a vaccine. I would just like to thank you for your tremendous support and please keep informing your offspring that their work and effort supplied to their studies during this lockdown will in the long term greatly contribute to their increased skills and deserve success. Very best wishes and take care. Thank you for listening. Henley and Arden School. Achieving excellence together.